Alrighty, so today we're going to be showing you how to do up shop runs as an Iron Man. So if you want your bank to look like this, ready for invention, this is how I get all this stuff. Let's start off with going to Varrock a bunch of times. Basically we want to load this in our inventory and we want this as our last preset. So let's go to Varrock. Our first stop is going to be Mr. Zeke, or, or sorry, uh, Zaf here. Uh, once you're here, you are going to want to buy up the Batwing books and the Spider Wand and Orb. Teleport back to base and return the stuff and teleport back. I'm, the reason we're getting wands and books is for our, our uh, I forget what component it is. The one that allows you to build augmenters. Enhancing components, that's the one. Good enhancing components. Alrighty, so now let's go get our blade components. Our sharp, our base. A lot of components you can get from this shopkeeper over here. So what I do is I buy up all the adamant, mithril, and black. And then we're going to empty the store of all his adamant, mithril, and black weaponry. Alrighty, so we just cleared out uh, the sword shop now of all adamant, mithril, and black weaponry. Let us get at least the short bow. I would get both the short bow and the shield bow. The short bow is very important because it gives you dex components. And dex components in flexible and all that is absolutely important in making fishing rod omatics, which is 99% of how most people level their invention due to you don't need to grind yourself a fishing rod omatic or sorry an augmenter and with that shop nicely quick bought quickly bought out we can go over to Horvik here who's got ourselves our steel plate bodies which is great for just summoning and now we buy out all the bronze shit the bronze stuff is for junk components and is extremely important to grind out because, well, it takes, what is it, 50 junk components for a single refined? And you need like 50 refined for like doing those really good jewelry. So that's like 2,500 junk components. Needless to say, get yourself some junk, which is bronze gear. Save yourself a ton of time, trust me. This will save you so much time because else you're crafting and making bronze gear yourself and yeah, no, it's just not worth it. And we are done with Varrock. Now I'm sure you can figure out we're going to Falador by the runes in my inventory and let us fill up the shields. Now I really don't need the shield components. Like I don't even know what it is, but I just like having it. So I buy it and more junk components right here Valheim hell yeah now we get into our maces maces is good for base components and subtle components if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but i'm sure you get subtle out of maces either subtle or dexterous one of those and of course get that bronze now we get to the non teleport by spell book I think the first one we will go to is ports. Buy out all the shield bows of this on top of bronze arrows, mithril arrows. So let's get all the shield bows and short bows. Using previous teleport with the home teleports really does help. And with our last bit of run, once we clear out that, we can go over to this thing, over to Betty's, and go grab a bit of few runes. There's not much here. But it's a, a little bit more extra room. So I'd still say it's worth it. So grab the death, grab the chaos, grab the air, water, fire, earth, and go grab some spider wands and orbs. Uh, it's up to you if it's worth grabbing the extra three. No, I don't really care enough for it. So we're good there. As you can see, I do have a discrepancy between these two. But that'll be fine. Alrighty. So let's go get our actual good runes. And we go to the mage bank. Buy out the entire stock. Honestly, you get so much money from uh, doing up everything. It's honestly worth it. Like, you will not run out of money. I promise you this. It's so easy to actually make money. Even as an iron. 
because I haven't, I've been doing these shop runs, right? And that's about all I've been doing. I haven't been doing any PVM or anything. Okay, so the next place we go for runes would be Lunar Isle. And there's one more place for runes, but we'll handle that out. In Baba Yaga's shop, buy out all the runes. And now we're going to be going to Alcarid. Unfortunately, there's no good teleport to where we need to be, which is we're buying scimitars for, I think if it's subtle components and more base component, base and subtle. And of course some junk because we're buying some bronze one. We're buying adamant, mithril, black and bronze. This is how I do it. Okay, let's clear out our inventory. Very important because we're going to be going in grabbing some runes now. Alrighty, so we're going to go beyond the scimitar shop and we're going to go over to here to Ali Morrison. Trade with them and we're going to buy all these bronze pickaxes, more junk components. And we are going to buy all his runes. It is it for summoning. If you're on a normal account or something like that or a decent like... Uh... I would honestly say for a normal Iron Man account, you really don't need this, but if you're looking to train some summoning and you got a bunch of extra crimsons and gold charms, this is a decent way to use them. Because we're going to be buying raw bird meat and raw meat, which will be used for making bloated leeches and terror bird pouches. Also, let's talk to Fraud over here and buy ourselves some bronze hatchets and buy ourselves feathers, ogre arrows. So the reason we buy arrows is for making gizmos. Uh, let's buy feather patches or the feather pack. Let's talk to Charger over here and buy up the raw beef and raw bird meat. Now we'll go to my favorite place, which is Rogue's Den. And let's get ourselves claws. I get up to steel claws. The only claws I don't get is iron. I get everything except the iron stuff. So all the bronze knives. Ignore the iron, the steel, the black, the misrule. And the main thing you want is bronze claws. Look how much junk components that is right there. 200, it is a ton. So let's clear this shop except for the iron gear. Go one last place. Bursorp agility course. Okay, so for the two-hander shop, you want to buy bronze, black, and then you want to buy what you can of steel. So basically, adamant, mist, black, bronze, and then whatever you can of steel. It's not worth doing a second run, in my opinion. This steel isn't that good. But there you have it. Do that daily, and your bank it will start looking like this. <laughs> I'm going to be walking in and getting my refined components. Like, I can throw that fortune in and all that easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's honestly about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.